Hi, this is Izani Man, and I'm gonna show you how to make an array in Blender. So, what an array does is it basically stacks a bunch of things relative to each other, so you can stack things on top of each other. But you don't have to like just stack them onto each other. You can make a path and make them follow that path. So that's what I'm gonna show you. So you need to choose what shape you want it to do. Sometimes you can do multiple shapes, like you can make a roller coaster track like this. Right now I'm gonna make like a tree trunk like thing. So go add, and then go to surface, cylinder, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna change this down very small, so that it's like that. The smaller you get it, on like this, the more accurate, well, the more curved the tree is gonna look. Instead of just having a bunch of little things put together, it's gonna look like an actual tree. So now what you wanna do is, first of all, you want to give this texture. So, don't need that right now. Um, do new. The texture is going to be like whatever you want. Okay, so now if you click off of it, you can see it's texture. Wait a second. So, you're going to be able to see it's texture. So, now what you want to do is, oh, and then set that to whatever shape you have. So I'm going to set it to circle because it's a cylinder, and that's the closest. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this little wrench right here, click Add Modifier, and click Array. Now what I want to do is change the relative offset so that it's one on the z-axis, not right next to it on the x-axis, because then it'll go like that. If you want it to do that, you can, but I don't want it to do that. So I can also change this to like 2, and it'll be there, so you can change it like that. I'm going to set these both to 0. So now if they're, they're at the same spot, what I want to do is set z to 1, so now that's on top of the other one. So now go to count and I'll start stacking up. But the thing you want it to do is you want it to follow a path. And it doesn't do it right now. So to do that, you have to either add um, a path then go to edit mode and change it. So like drag this spot over to here. And then when you go into object mode, it'll look like that. But what I want to do is go to object mode. And what I want to do is select this and then draw whatever so that's a tree shape I'm gonna do now you have to now go up here and you should see it up here So you click over here, and what you do is, uh, so, click on this now, um, wait one second. So, once you've drawn your line, what you want to do is when you go to this line, press convert. So you should see on the side. Right here, there's going to be a little plus. Click on that. And then where it shows this, just convert. Then you want to 
convert it into a path. So that should be good. Now, you should go over here and click this. No. Click this. No, I think it's out further, so here and you'll see this so when you go right here to this little box and when that, that's selected it's going to be called G gp layer you can rename it something else like whatever it's going to be so if it's a tree trunk name it tr tree trunk Curve, so you don't mix it up with the tree trunk, the actual, all right? So name it tree trunk curve, that's what I'm gonna do. And then, click off of that, and go to your cylinder, or whatever object you have. So, now, click. And you have to add another modifier. So this modifier is going to be a curve. It's not ge under generate, it's under deform. So curve. And object, tree trunk curve. Now it's going to be like that. But you don't want that because when you do that, it just gets really weird. Well, you might want that depending on your thing, but if it's going up like this, it's not going to look right. So what you want to do is don't worry about any of this up here. Um, deformation access, access, if it's going up, click Z. If it's going on the Z axis, click Y, I mean on the Y axis, click Y, X axis, click X, but I'm going to do Z. And then, as we change the count, it will get higher along the curve. It's just sort of gives you a lag when you do this. Because it's just a lot of objects. So yeah, you can change the count. Um, 90. I'll be up to there. So you can change it. And you can make it go all the way up. So if I do like 200, it'll go farther. It should, yeah, it'll go up there. And but what happens if you do like 300 and it goes off? Is, wait one second. One second. It'll do that. And it'll just cap off at the top. See? And so then it'll just look like a tree, because at the top, it just caps off, like a beaver ate it or something. So that's how you do that. And then you can just go over here and make that, add the texture. Oh, I changed the specular, that's why I need to change that. Okay, I was wondering why that wasn't changing color. So that's how you do that. Then say this isn't thick enough for your tree. You just do what you normally would. Size. You can make the size bigger. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger on whatever axis. It doesn't really matter. So, that's how you make an array. See? Just that.